domination is a slow and laborious process. Uh, right. Is that the music from the boss fight versus what's his name, Koala Kong or Pinstripe? Maybe. Well, whatever. Okay. So, what do we have here? Well, um, how do we trigger Nitro? Oh, we don't need to. We can get to it from the other side, I guess. The TNT crate, a classic design. I got the idea from cartoons. Well, okay. Well. It's interesting how they hover in midair for a moment, right? Huh, interesting. Oh my god. What's that abomination? Oh my god! Well, I guess we don't have to... ...destroy the trampoline boxes, right? We can just let the nitro explode in the end, I guess. That's a dead one. Well... Well, that worked. Is the nitro directly above the trampoline? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Okay, it's high enough anyways. Anything up here? Nope. Checkpoint! Okay, so that outlined... The last subject. The increased thickness of the bandicoot skull seems to be paying off. How many bandicoots have they created? Well, oh, okay. That's kind of... So that will... Wait, but I cannot... What's with the sheep? Why do they have so many sheep? What do they... Do with them? Can I get back up here? Well, I guess we'll find out, right? I mean, that was... That was clear. Okay, ooh. Nothing to worry about. Do I need? I prob. Hmm. Seriously, wombat skulls shatter like snow globes. Uh, really? It is. Okay. What? Okay. Whatever, I guess. Nearly threaded the needle there. Do I want to activate this one? I do, okay. Really? Oh, okay. I hit all of them as it seems. Okay. So where's the next mask? Not here. 
If these chuckle nuts weren't punching holes in reality, we could open our own rifts. Uh, for now, we're stuck taking the long route. But I sense another rift around here somewhere. Ah! Ah! Friends, I have a fun little game for you to play. I've got a reward for the clever bandicoots who can reach my testing grounds. But you'll have to defeat my deadly diabolical creations along the way. <laughs> okay. As usual. And I, st I still don't really get why Embryo is suddenly working for Cortex again. Because Embryo was not well, not really on our side, but he was on his own side, so to say, in Crash Bandicoot 2. And he helped us defeat Cortex in the end, right? So I'm a little confused. But maybe that's just because of the inconsistencies caused by the universal rifts and fissures and whatever. Alright, so that's the first, uh, well, the, the second mask power. The, the first time we get another mask power than the one we had before. Dark Matter Spin. Okay, so we just... Wow, that's interesting. We can also destroy the reinforced crates with this Dark Matter Spin. Nah. It is a little slower. Uh, huh, but apart from that... I don't think it's that special. Has me a little sad, to be honest. I thought there would be more interesting mask powers, but well, maybe let's see what they're doing with it, right? Uh, of course, bandicoots cannot swim. Well, they probably can in real life, but, but those bandicoots cannot swim, so uh, I'm very sure that falling into water will make us drown. Okay, they want to. Wait, what? They want to spin and then double jump? Oh, okay. Caution! Dark Matter spin detonates TNT. Well, the, the, the normal spin also does, so... That's... Oof. That's nothing... Surprising. Potioning potions. Yeah, but why? Why are you working for Cortex again? But, hmm. Cortex again. Uh... Okay, we can get up that high with that spin. Hey, another tape! Yay, looking forward to that. Box smashing parkour. Oh god, it reminds me of Crash Bandicoot 2. And no, it's not peaceful anymore. Hmm, interesting. I think in some of the older games, I don't know if it was in every one, if you just walked down a cliff and then fell on top of a crate, I think it didn't trigger them. Only if it jumped. But I'm not sure for which one of the games it was. And if it did. Okay, also you triggered TNT back in the days when you slide upon them. Which isn't the case here, fortunately. Because you would have just died if it wasn't. There seems to be any something back there, right? A cuckoo bar. Nothing. <laughs> Only death. I guess. Hey, 69. Dark Matter Spin defl deflects green magic. So we cannot kill you, but just not get killed by you if we... Oh, we can probably jump on your head? Oh, okay. What I don't like about this spin, as well as what I don't like about the double jump, is that for some reason you just start to do it all the time, right? I mean, most of the gaps in this game are clearly designed so that you can bridge them with only a normal jump. But it's just because you have the double jump and because it's like more safe to do them with a double jump, you just always double jump. That was interesting. Okay. But the problem with the double, double jump, of course, is that it stops your momentum mi mid-air, right? So... Hmm. 
More TNT. Oh, okay. Okay, that's how it works, I guess. So I can reflect that one. And uh, oh, cool. <laughs> nice. Oh, there's another one up there. Oh, but those don't activate. Well, that one does. Oh, come on, why did he stop spinning? Hmm. I'm not entirely sure if he can jump on his head without spinning. Let's check that. Yes, no, I can't. Okay, that just cost me my Aku Aku. That's what I've always liked about you. So dedicated to science. Not like the natives here, unwilling to cooperate with even a simple deadly test. Well, maybe you should invent a test that isn't as deadly then. So where's the trigger for those crates back there? I mean, of course there have been Crash Bandicoot levels where the trigger is a lot further in into the level. Probably is. I don't think I can get back here, right? So where's the trigger for those crates? Not even sure if I can... Well, I can get back here, okay. It's gonna destroy it, I guess. Still haven't seen that trigger. Uh. Oh, interesting. Maybe we'll trigger it from a secondary entrance or something. Oh, no. I expected it to immediately open up again instead of first diving on the water. <clears throat> Nobody saw that. Oh, that wasn't actually a plant. Now I realized. Okay. That only the ones with the little teeth. On the sides. Live tests for my experiments, but you know, omelets, eggs, superpowered potions, marsupia. I mean, other animals. <laughs> yeah, sure. So only the ones with the little teeth on the sides actually try to eat us. Makes sense, I guess. <laughs> All right, no more deaths. Come on. Oh, bonus level. I do wonder if there is a... Huh. Is there gonna be a... Trigger in here? Up there. I wonder if that is the same one that also triggers the crates that we've seen before, right? So, how do we get up there? Ah, sure. No! <sighs> yeah, that was a uh, gap. <clears throat> That's a little high. Ah, so how to get up there? Meh. Not like that. Maybe this is actually meant to get to there from the right. Ah, oh, damn it, there's also an outline crate up here. Hmm. Oh, but at least I don't need. I guess I can get up to the metal crate while jumping on the below crates, right? There we go. And now we don't need the trampoline over here. Would have been funny to die to the TNT now, right? 31, there we go. Uh. Okay, that's it. That's even that's even more hilarious. But okay, it's, ooh, I guess easier to get on top of the metal crates from up there. There we go. Finally, uh, two hundred twelve boxes, really. Now the question is: Do we go back and try to? Uh, 
Um, I guess the right side is... Why is there two paths here? That's interesting. Really? Does it trigger it? Okay, it doesn't trigger the nitro. Come on. There we go. Uh, I'm always afraid doing that. Even though I know it should only destroy the bottom box and not the top box. Little bamboo torture there. Really? Come on. Millimeter. Ah, there we go. Oh yeah, we got flashback tape, I remember. Another day, another trial. Is that the... Uh, yeah, that's the bridge theme, right? <laughs> what the hell? In this game we don't destroy crates we're sliding on, right? But not too far? Too bad. Well, I guess we can just crouch, right? <clears throat> okay. I forget crouching is a thing here. Wait, we're wearing Cortex's old, old shorts? Ooh. Okay. So the TNT will trigger the other... Trigger, right? Yeah, okay. Slap. My experiment. I don't think I ever needed the crowd crouch in any Crash Bandicoot game. Oh, we need to slide here. Okay, interesting. Why is the nitro over there? Why would we want to go up there? Oh, cool. We can actually <laughs> we can actually jump by crouching. Yeah, of course we can. My God, it's a high jump. Oh, I miss those shorts. So breezy. Oodles of room in the air. Never. Interesting insights into the life of Cortex there, I would say. Oh, okay. That was a little larger than I expected it to be. But I guess the TNT will be triggered once we destroy the Nitro. So we should not concern ourselves with that. Oh, okay. How do we... I guess we need to come back once the nitro is destroyed. Um, okay, that actually works. Okay. That was an, a very different puzzle than the previous ones. And actually a lot easier. Just crouching instead of sliding, you know. 